Welcome to FedScoop TV. I'm Wyatt Cash, and we're here at the Public Sector Innovation Summit, and our guest is uh, Congressman Will Hurd. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. Always a pleasure to be here. Terrific. Um, you look at a lot of things that deal with innovation. Tell us uh, what innovation really means to you in the public sector. Well, in the public sector, it means how do we get to where the private sector is, to, mm -hmm. to be frank. Um, uh, sometimes we need to raise our gaze and in, in, in to, to figure out how we should be providing services to the, our constituents that they haven't gotten. And, and the example I use is DOD and VA. DOD and VA could get their electronic health records actually interoperable. Mm -hmm. That could be the standard for the rest of the world. And we can make sure that we can do start doing things like virtualized research cohorts. We can keep people alive longer. Mm -hmm. um, that's the kind of innovation that the government can be doing, but we're a long way away from achieving that reality. Mm -hmm. Next, I'd like to talk about um, the cloud and uh, virtualization. You're uh, one of the more knowledgeable mm -hmm. folks on Capitol Hill. How do you see that driving efficiency and cost savings in government? Well, sometimes people in the federal government think that the cloud is new technology, and, and it's yeah. not. It's been around for, for a long time, and it's safe, and it's secure, and we can save money and, and operational costs. And so one of the things that we're working on, we have a bill uh, that hopefully is going to get passed this week um, that allows, makes it easier to transition, to do things like transition in the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and the money you save can be used back into additional modernization efforts, mm -hmm. um, because moving to the cloud is just one of the many things that we could be doing. Um, to improve efficiencies and, and drive down costs. Mm -hmm. And lastly, just briefly, um, uh, these new uh, technologies uh, can add um, uh, more security to existing systems, but they can also add new complexity as well. What's your view on the security uh, situation or posture that mm -hmm. these new technologies bring to government? Well, you're always going to have to deal with that duality, um, increased efficiency, possibly increased security, uh, more complicated use. Um, this is this is the rea reality that we live in. And whenever there's new technology that's being um, developed that can help us defend our digital infrastructure, how that works with all the other tools that we have is a, is, is a issue that CIOs are going to have to be dealing with. But as long as Congress allows the CIO um, to have the flexibility to adjust as they see mm -hmm. fit on how to defend their digital infrastructure, then I think we're going to be in a good place. Um, but it, it, the, the, the risk is different. And I think everybody needs to have the idea mm -hmm. that begin with the presumption of breach. Attackers right. will get in. How quickly can you detect them? Can you quarantine them and can you kick them out? You know, that's how we have to be looking at um, this threat and what tools do we need in order to achieve that. Mm -hmm. Well, Congressman Hurd, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate the work you're doing up on the Hill to help improve uh, government and uh, IT. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. I'm Wyatt Cash. I look for more of our coverage at fedscoop.com. Thanks for watching.